hi, good morning. Good morning. I say good morning because it's uh, quarter to one. Quarter to one a.m. Just finished the late shift. Nine hours at the wheel. Pretty naked. But that's what pays the bills. I just thought I'd do a little a vlog on the way home. Not an FRO. Done a few of them. I just want to extend a bit of thanks, really. It's been about 18 months since we've been growing the channel and slowly putting the videos together. We're nudging on 300 now. And I just want to say how grateful me and Penny are for all of the amazing support that we get from you all. It doesn't matter whether it's new riders, new subscribers, people who've never watched the channel before. I get comments about people who have found the channel and they're sitting for two weeks in all their spare time, slowly going through every single video until they've caught up to date. Amazing. And what can we say? How lucky are we? This all started when I just made a quick video of how to do a first service on a Harley Sportster on my XR12. I thought I'd just upload it, see how it goes. And an avalanche of need come flowing down. It seems that the new rider that I thought was consigned to the world of the top box and the sat nav and the advanced riding certificate is not actually as bad as I thought he was. He actually wants to know about spanners and fixing shit. And that makes my cynical, sad old heart glad. It really does. It really does. Because for a long time I just thought that the kind of biker you had to be 30 years ago of fixing your bike and dealing with your own stuff, dealing with your own servicing. That was the way it had to be and you learned it. You learned it from your mates, books, trial and error, how hard can it be mentality. But as bikes got more modern and more reliable gadgets, things like sat navs come along, bikes that don't break down, don't leak oil, dealers that offer mocha latte in the waiting room while they service your bike for you. I thought it was all over, but it's not. It really isn't. And it ain't just about saving money. We all know young blokes ain't got no money. Young girls are getting on their scooters to get to work. They ain't got money falling out of their arse. They're skinned like we all were. They need to save a few bob, do a bit of their own servicing. I get emails comments saying you've saved hundreds of pounds and that it makes me so happy it truly does it's why we do it don't do it for any other reason all this vlogging and waffling belly aching and fro's it's just extra it's all just fumes this channel is about the how-to's first and last the projects are not so easy they cost a lot of money take a lot of time and as the channel's got busier and everything else, there's something's got to give, and that's what it's that's really what it is. The projects I can't I can't spare the time anymore. Working 60 hours a week, both of us. It's hard enough to get in a video and just film something basic like fixing a fuel tap. But no, this whole avalanche of love that comes along of need, of want from the younger rider is brilliant. It means that bikers are still bikers that the baby bikers out there today buying a 600 phaser or a bandit 650 or an sv 650 or a anything monster even the baby harley riders getting their first sportster all of you you want to know you want to care for your bike you want to know about the nuts and bolts and that's as it should be and i'm so glad with that because in my opinion what it means is that when the day comes that I leave biking behind me 
or we have no choice or whatever that it will be left in good hands but the office of biker is not dead and you can call that what you like but to me a biker is many many things someone who can swing a spanner and tell a yarn and ride their bike in all weathers and fix up some stuff and make a bit of this and that not caravanners and car drivers who book everything in at the dealer so that's good that really is good and again thank you for that amazing support honestly I've got to say me and Penny wouldn't do this without the support without the love that we get the recognition the thanks the gratitude there was a time when I was a pretty avid member Whoa, lovely riding at one in the morning has its benefits I was a pretty avid member of a big biker forum a very popular one very successful and powerful one and I was uh, for, a, for a time I was quite an avid poster and I used to make videos I made a not videos I made a series of photographic how to's and I kind of called it fuck the factory mainly because it was making stuff for the Harley um, oh, it's getting dark now That's better. just making stuff for Harleys and doing a few repairs loading it up photograph form like a, a photo diary long before I had a camera and was filming anything probably about three years ago and there was always some contrary argumentative little turd that would denigrate what you do and take the piss out of it argue with it there's a lot of hate towards Harley Davidson's on that that particular forum as well needless to say me and just about every other Harley rider left it long ago and have never gone back good riddance to it some lovely people on there but it's a shame they're tied up with those who are not so nice. Anyway, enough of that old shit. The point being that YouTube is totally different. Ever since we've loaded stuff up, we only ever get gratitude, kindness and respect. And I never expected that. I've got to say it. I truly expected to get the same kind of cynical now and again. I get it now and again. Okay, it's not completely without criticism. And I, don't, I do take criticism well, it doesn't bother me. The coppers like to sit up there and watch. If you're going a bit quick. Um, and I don't really care, I just delete it. There's always someone who's got contrary comment or they post without thinking. But then the world's full of different people. We're all different. But generally, on the whole, by and large, we get nothing but love and that is amazing so thank you for that I can't say it in a different way I haven't got the words to thank you anymore for the support and love you give us as I've said we truly wouldn't do it if it, if it wasn't well received we just ride our bikes and fix them and crack on like you do but sharing it changes other people's lives uh, some great and amazing words of wisdom were posted up by Milo just a day or so ago on Milo Garage if you haven't subscribed to Milo Garage you must get on there Milo is a wise old sage he lives in California he's a, a paint guru a painting god a prince of the trade He's forgotten more about paint than most of us will ever know. These days he restores and fixes up scooters and bikes, BMWs and Vespas and so on, to an incredible standard, flawless paintwork. And he said something the other day about, um, about giving. I can't remember the exact words he used, but I think it, it leads along that to give something is 
far more fulfilling than to receive it. So I've got to say I get a great deal from this, from being able to share the things that I've learned over a lifetime with you and anyone else who needs it gives me a great deal. So thank you for watching, for giving me the platform. Thank you YouTube. Time to go home. Thanks for tuning in, as I said. Take it easy, uh, ride safe. I mean that. Let's all have a good, safe, and enjoyable season. See you next time.